You won't believe the twists and turns in the biggest NBA conspiracy theories ever. But which ones turned out to be completely false, and which ones turned out to be true? Let's dive in. Number 9. The Anthony Davis Lottery Controversy one of the NBA conspiracy theories is speculation surrounding the 2012 NBA draft, where the New Orleans Hornets, at the time owned by the NBA, secured the first overall pick. This unexpected turn of events allowed the Hornets to select Anthony Davis. He was a highly sought-after prospect from the University of Kentucky, which sparked theories that the draft lottery was manipulated to benefit the league-owned team. The context for this theory is crucial. The NBA had taken ownership of the Hornets in December 2010, leading to concerns about potential conflicts of interest, especially regarding major decisions affecting the franchise's future. The 2012 draft was particularly significant because of Davis, who was considered a once-in-a-generation talent capable of transforming the fortunes of whichever team drafted him. Conspiracy theorists seized on several points to support their claims. Firstly, the statistical improbability of the Hornets winning the top pick, given their odds of entering the lottery. Secondly, an old photo of Davis wearing a Hornets cap before the draft was circulated as evidence of foreknowledge of the draft outcome. This image, though seemingly innocent, fueled speculation about the legitimacy of the lottery process. Critics of this theory argue that the draft lottery is conducted with strict oversight and transparency, with representatives from each lottery team, independent auditors, and members of the media present to ensure the integrity of the process. Moreover, the NBA had a granted interest in maintaining the credibility of the draft lottery, as any hint of manipulation could have severe repercussions for the league's reputation and the trust of its fans. Despite these assurances, the 2012 NBA draft remains a topic of debate among fans and conspiracy theorists alike. If you think that's crazy, wait till you see the next NBA theory on our list. Number 8. 2001 Eastern Conference Finals Another compelling theory that emerges from the NBA's history of conspiracies involves the 2001 Eastern Conference Finals between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Philadelphia 76ers. The crux of this theory is the belief that the NBA had interest in ensuring that Allen Iverson would advance to the NBA Finals against the dominant Los Angeles Lakers. As one of the league's most electrifying stars at the time, this would maximize viewer engagement and television ratings to no end. The backdrop of this theory is the context of the series and the era. Allen Iverson was the face of the 76ers and had won the league's MVP award that season. The Bucks, led by Ray Allen, were a formidable opponent but lacked the same level of star power and market appeal that Iverson brought to the table. Conspiracy theorists point to the foul calls and the free throw disparities throughout the series as indicators of the NBA's alleged interference. Despite Iverson not shooting an excessive number of free throws, which were approximately nine per game, the overall officiating raised eyebrows, with critical calls often going in favor of the 76ers. Ray Allen himself added fuel to the fire of conspiracy by publicly stating, I think there's no question about that. The league has a marketing machine, the bottom line is about making money. The NBA's denial of game fixing contrasts with claims of bias towards marketable teams, especially highlighted by the 2001 Eastern Conference Finals controversy. The conspiracies don't end here. Number 7. The Dwayne Wade Free Throw Controversy the 2006 NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the Dallas Mavericks provides great room for speculation, particularly concerning the number of free throws awarded to Dwayne Wade. The theory suggests that the NBA favored the Miami Heat, or more specifically Wade, in a bid to secure higher TV ratings and build a new star in the post-Michael Jordan era. The background to this theory centers on Wade's performance and the significant disparity in foul calls. Throughout the series, Wade shot an astonishing 97 free throws over six games, averaging over 16 attempts per game. This peaked in Game 5, where Wade alone had 25 free throw attempts, nearly matching the entire Mavericks team's 28 attempts. 
Critics and conspiracy theorists point to this discrepancy as evidence of biased officiating designed to tilt the series in Miami's favor. The impact of these calls was profound. With Wade's aggressive play style seemingly granted more leeway by the referees, it allowed him to take control of the series and lead the Heat to their first NBA championship. This series marked a turning point in Wade's career, solidifying his status as one of the league's premier talents. While the NBA and its officials have categorically denied any wrongdoing or a bias in the officiating, the 2006 Finals remain a controversial topic among fans and analysts. The perception that Wade received preferential treatment from the referees has fueled debates about the integrity of the game and the influence of the league narratives on the outcomes of pivotal matches. Conspiracy theories aren't just surrounding the recent games. The NBA has befallen accusations since the 80s. Number 6. The 1985 NBA Draft Lottery Frozen Envelope The very first NBA Draft Lottery has a theory that's persisted for decades, which is called the Frozen Envelope. This theory suggests that NBA Commissioner David Stern rigged the lottery to ensure the New York Knicks would secure the first overall pick. This would allow them to draft Georgetown University standout Patrick Ewing, thereby revitalizing the struggling franchise and boosting the NBA's marketability in a a major media market. The background of this theory is in the mechanics of the 1985 draft lottery, where seven teams had an equal chance of landing the first pick. The process involved placing seven envelopes in a clear spinning drum, from which Stern would select the envelope determining the first pick. The conspiracy relies on the moment one particular envelope was seemingly thrown into the drum, striking its side, and thereby allegedly creasing a corner. The theory suggests that this was done deliberately to mark the Knicks' envelope, making it identifiable by touch to Stern. At the time, Patrick Ewing was one of the most desired college players. He was expected to make an immediate impact in the NBA. The Knicks, suffering from poor performance and low attendance, desperately needed a turnaround. The theory suggests that the NBA, seeking to boost its presence in the nation's largest media market, designed the draft to ensure Ewing would land in New York. Critics argue the 1985 NBA Draft Lottery's conspiracy lacks concrete evidence, noting the speculative nature of the video analysis and the absence of proof. They emphasize David Stern's integrity and the high risk to the NBA's credibility, suggesting the theory's improbability and the potential damage of such an act outweighing any benefits. However, the 1985 draft lottery undoubtedly changed the course of the Knicks franchise and had a lasting impact on the NBA. But whether it was the result of a rigged system or simply the luck of the draw remains a matter of debate. Another game, another set of conspiracies. Number 5. 2002 NBA Playoffs – Game 6 Controversy The 2002 Western Conference Finals, specifically Game 6 between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Sacramento Kings, is infamous among NBA fans and conspiracy theorists. This is due to the unusually high number of free throws awarded to the Lakers, particularly in the fourth quarter, fueling beliefs that the game was rigged in favor of the Lakers to extend the series to a seventh game. The background of this theory is rooted in the context of the series. The Kings were leading the series 3-2 and were on the brink of advancing to the NBA Finals. This was a significant achievement for a franchise that had long been overshadowed by more prominent teams, including the Lakers. The Lakers, led by superstar Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, were the defending champions and had a massive following in terms of fans and media attention. During Game 6, the Lakers shot a surprising 40 free throws, with 27 of these coming in the fourth quarter alone. This discrepancy in foul calls raised eyebrows and led to widespread speculation that the game's referees were intentionally favoring the Lakers to ensure the series would go to a decisive seventh game, thereby boosting TV ratings and league revenues. The New York Times, upon rewatching the game years later, described it as a masterclass in bad calls, missed calls, and missed calls. 
highlighting the perceived bias in officiating. This game has since become a touchstone for discussions about referee impartiality and the integrity of the NBA's playoff competition. The NBA denies game manipulation, but the 2002 Western Conference Finals Game 6 controversy fuels conspiracy theories about preferential treatment for star players and top teams in crucial games. Amongst the most famous athletes in the world, this theory about Michael Jordan is sure to leave you stumped. Number 4. Michael Jordan's First Retirement And up next in our series of NBA conspiracy theories, we have one of the most debated topics in the league's history, which is Michael Jordan's first retirement in 1993. The theory suggests that Jordan's departure from basketball to play minor league baseball was not a voluntary career choice. Rather, it was a secret suspension imposed by NBA Commissioner David Stern due to Jordan's alleged gambling issues. Michael Jordan, often hailed as the greatest basketball player of all time, shocked the world by retiring at the sudden peak of his career after winning three consecutive NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. His sudden shift to baseball, a sport he had not played competitively since high school, left many puzzled in searching for answers. The theory goes that the NBA, facing a potential scandal due to Jordan's high-stakes gambling habits, opted for a covert suspension to preserve the league's and Jordan's image. This arrangement allowed Jordan to step away under the guise of pursuing a childhood dream and return to the NBA once the agreed-upon period ended. This would avoid public backlash and maintain the sport's integrity in the eyes of fans. Critics of the theory highlight several issues, notably the lack of concrete evidence. No official documentation or credible insider testimony has ever surfaced to corroborate the claim of a secret suspension. Jordan himself has consistently attributed his retirement to a loss of desire to play basketball and the emotional toll of his father's murder earlier that year, which reignited his interest in baseball, a sport his father loved. Moreover, the notion that the NBA would secretly suspend its biggest star, thereby jeopardizing its own revenue and global popularity, raises questions about the plausibility of such a move. Jordan's absence undoubtedly impacted the league's marketability and viewership, making the alleged suspension a counterintuitive decision for the NBA. David Stern, the NBA commissioner at the time, categorically denied any such conspiracy, and there's been no evidence to suggest that Stern had ever seriously considered suspending Jordan for gambling. Stern's tenure was marked by efforts to globalize and clean up the league's image, and a secret suspension, if ever revealed, would have contradicted those efforts. The next entry on our list dives into a rumor that shook the foundation of the basketball community to its core and the personal lives of its players. Number 3. The LeBron James – Delonte West Scandal this theory involves Delonte West and allegations concerning LeBron James' mother, Gloria James. The rumor, which gained considerable traction, suggested that West had a relationship with Gloria James during the 2010 playoffs, which affected LeBron James' performance on the court. Delonte West, a guard known for his solid play and defensive skills, became more infamous for this rumor than for any of his achievements in the NBA. Despite a career that included valuable contributions to multiple teams, the story overshadowed West's professional legacy reducing his public image to a single, unverified claim. LeBron James, on the other hand, was and remains one of the most dominant figures in basketball. A multiple-time MVP and NBA champion, James' career has been marked by excellence and an ability to elevate the play of those around him. However, during the 2010 Eastern Conference semifinals against the Boston Celtics, James' performance unexpectedly dipped. This led to speculation and the eventual spread of the rumor involving West and his mother. The theory suggests that the alleged off-court drama infiltrated the locker room, impacting team chemistry and James' focus, contributing to the Cavaliers' unexpected playoff exit. Following this, the narrative suggests that James, distressed by the situation, influenced team decisions, leading to West's departure from the Cavaliers and even affecting roster moves on James' future teams, including the Miami Heat. 
critically examining this theory, several aspects come into question. Firstly, the lack of concrete evidence makes this rumor highly speculative. No credible sources or substantiations have backed the claim, leaving it to reside in the world of hearsay and gossip. LeBron James himself has never publicly acknowledged the rumor and West's erratic behavior over the years, attributed to his well-documented mental health struggles, has only fueled the speculative fire without providing any clarity. Moreover, attributing a professional athlete's performance solely to off-court issues undermines the complexity of sports psychology and the various factors that can influence a player's game. While personal issues can undoubtedly affect an athlete, the reduction of LeBron James' playoff performance to this single, unverified rumor oversimplifies the narrative and detracts from the Celtics' strategic victory. The theory remains one of the NBA's most controversial and personal conspiracy theories of all time. The next conspiracy theory seems to be one straight from a Hollywood script. Number 2. Wilt Chamberlain vs. Mountain Lion this fascinating NBA conspiracy theory involves none other than Wilt Chamberlain, one of the most dominant forces in NBA history. The story in question? A Chamberlain's alleged encounter with a mountain lion, which he claims to have fought off with his bare hands. This story, detailed in Chamberlain's 1991 autobiography, A View From Above, presents a narrative where, during a drive across the southwestern U.S., a mountain lion supposedly leapt at him, only for Chamberlain to fend off and toss aside the wild animal. To understand the weight of this claim, one must first appreciate who Wilt Chamberlain was. Standing over seven feet tall with unparalleled athleticism, Chamberlain was a force to be reckoned with on the basketball court. His legendary status is backed by numerous records, some of which are considered unbreakable, such as scoring 100 points in a single game. Chamberlain's physical skill was not just limited to the hardwood. He was also known for his strength and fitness, factors that lend great credibility to his wild tale. The credibility of Wilt Chamberlain's account of battling wildlife is questioned due to the absence of evidence and witnesses. Some suggest it may be an embellished tale from his autobiography to enhance his legendary status. But regardless, the impact of this story on Chamberlain's legacy has many sides. On one hand, it adds to the mystique surrounding a man who was already considered a mythical figure in the sport. It paints Chamberlain as a basketball legend and a man whose physical capabilities defy the ordinary. On the other hand, skeptics might view this tale as unnecessary, arguing that Chamberlain's genuine achievements don't need such stories to be hyped. No such hyperbolic augmentation is really necessary. Last but not least is one of the most interesting and highlighted theories in NBA history. Number 1. The Paul Pierce Wheelchair Incident One of the most intriguing NBA conspiracy theories is the infamous incident involving Paul Pierce during Game 1 of the 2008 NBA Finals. Dubbed the Wheelchair Incident, this theory suggests that Pierce's dramatic exit and swift return to the court were not due to a leg injury, as was widely believed. Rather, it was to conceal an embarrassing situation where he allegedly soiled himself. To set the scene, during a critical moment of the game, Pierce was seen collapsing on the court, clutching his knee in apparent agony. He was subsequently wheeled off the court, only to return shortly after, miraculously recovered and ready to play. This led to the birth of a rather unflattering theory among fans and commentators alike, suggesting that the wheelchair was not used for a leg injury but to cover up the fact that Pierce had an accident on the court. Critics of this theory point to the lack of concrete evidence, relying primarily on speculative observation and a single frame from the game's broadcast that shows a suspicious stain on Pierce's shorts. However, this evidence is inadequate at best and does little to conclusively prove the theory. Paul Pierce, for his part, has addressed the rumor in various interviews, at times dismissing it while at other times playing along with the joke, further fueling speculation. His inconsistent responses have only added to the mystery and intrigue surrounding the incident. The impact of this theory on Pierce's legacy cannot be understated. 
As one of Boston's most beloved athletes and a key figure in their 2008 championship run, the suggestion that he would resort to such a tactic to leave the court is both damaging and disrespectful. It attempts to undermine his reputation as one of the NBA's toughest players, known for his resilience on the court. Furthermore, the implications of this theory extend beyond just Pierce's personal legacy. Had Pierce been genuinely injured and unable to return to the game, the outcome of the series and the subsequent trajectory of the Celtics season could have been significantly altered. Pierce's absence would have deprived the Celtics of their finals MVP potentially changing the course of NBA history by impacting the storied legacies of other players and the league's greatest rivalry with the Lakers. We've unraveled the mysteries behind the biggest NBA conspiracy theories, leaving us questioning what's real and what's mere speculation. But if you think these theories are wild, wait until you see the reckless decisions some NBA players have made off the court. Don't miss out on the dumbest ways NBA players went completely broke.